For over a century, vehicles have been powered by petroleum-based fuels, and um, uh, you know that's been fine. It's uh, the petroleum uh, revolution has enabled uh, inexpensive transportation, uh, inexpensive energy for transportation. And so we're used to filling up our car uh, with gasoline, diesel, whatever it is, and drive. what is going to be the next century of the automobile. If I look at my lifetime as an engineer, you know, I graduated with a bachelor's degree in electrical and computer engineering in 1980. Okay, that's a long time ago, 35 years ago. So how much was there in the way of electrical and electronic circuits in a vehicle in 1980? I can tell you, you had a battery, 12 volt battery, you had an alternator to charge the battery, uh, you had, of course, the 12 volt electrical system, lights, dashboard, and so on. But beyond that, there wasn't much in the way of electronics. It was around that time that the electronic revolution started. So you started having electronic fuel injection, computer control of the exhaust after treatment system, the three way catalyst. And, you know, in the early days, it was maybe one 8 bit microcontroller in the automobile. Today, you might have 50 or 60 control modules in a modern day automobile. So that revolution that started about the time I was graduating from college, today it's going full steam ahead. So electrical engineering is um, intimately tied to the automotive industry. The electrification of cars that began 25 years ago is continuing at a breakneck pace, and it's only increasing with the hybridization of vehicles and the emergence of new vehicles like electrics and things like that. The amount of electrical engineering required to build vehicles is just increasing on a daily basis, and Ohio State is at the forefront of that revolution. So we're moving in a direction in which, uh, uh, I mean, this has already been going on for some time, the automotive companies and their big suppliers, uh, companies like Delphi and Bosch and Siemens uh, and Denso that supply uh, the General Motors and Toyotas and Fords and Hondas, these companies are looking more and more to hire increasing numbers of electrical and computer engineers because they need uh, a workforce uh, that uh, uh, can think about, create, and design the new electrical, electronic information and communication systems for the future of the automobile. You know, here at Ohio State, we happen to have uh, a very long history of research and development in autonomous vehicles, right? There's going to be a demand for people who uh, have the skill sets that are typical of an electrical computer engineer with the understanding of how to apply these technologies to the automobile. And in that sense, Ohio State is a leader. As long as we feel like people The only thing we can't do is tell them they have to be scrapped. It was, uh, it was missing a couple parts so it couldn't actually drive. <laughs>